BTS performing on at Grand Central Station for The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. I am so, so excited to react to this one. I just listened to this song earlier this week for the first time. I'll link it right up here if you want to check it out. And I was blown away, but most impressively, I really, really like Jungkook's part. I'm so, so excited to hear him sing it today. Plus, the dance was so, so crazy listening to the uh, Kinetic Manifesto. Just absolutely impressive. I cannot wait to see what they throw together. And they're at Grand Central Terminal. I mean, who performs here? I'm so excited. By the way, hello, my name's Cody. Thank you so, so much for being here. If you do enjoy today's video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up down below because it really helps out me and my channel and we'll get this video seen by many more people. And if you are new around here or want to stay up to date with more reaction videos just like this, make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out whenever I post brand new reaction videos just like this one. But let's throw on these headphones and let's give this a listen. You guys told me this is the one to listen to, so I'm trusting you on it. Let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. Here we go. This is BTS performing on at Grand Central Station for The Tonight Show, Jimmy Fallon. They are Fallon. a groundbreaking global phenomenon who are here in Grand Central Terminal tonight for a historic performance, performing on yeah, historic, from the new album, no doubt. Map of the Soul 7. Give it up for BTS! Woo! Okay, this is wild. I have so many questions. Is this, is Grand Central closed? Does it ever close? Like, how do they do this? I've seen movies shot here before, but I don't understand. If anybody knows the details behind this, please, please, please drop a comment down below. This, this is going to be so wild. Sick, they got the marching band. Wow. Ah, oh, Jimin sounds so good, bud. Ah, oh, V2. Oh. Yeah. Okay, this is like one of the coolest dances I've ever seen. They just, they pop these moves so hard with this awesome background, like drum line. They just, this is such a cool song to perform live, not only for the vocals, but for the dance as well. The choreography is just awesome. Wow. Yeah. Wow, they hit these dance moves so hard. The choreography is so impressive. And what's more impressive that they sing and don't miss a single note while they're doing this. I absolutely love it. Yes, I love this part. Wow. Oh, cool. Cool. Okay. I don't understand how Jimin sings like that. He has such a unique vocal tone. I know I'm gushing over Jimin all the time. I've reacted to some of his videos. I'll link one up here if you want to check it out. He just, he blows me away with his vocal tone. It's so impressive. I know it normally overshadows so much of what everybody else is doing for me, but his vocal tone is just so unique. I absolutely love it. And while dancing, it's impressive. Wow. 
Okay, something I just thought of. How did they prep for this show? Obviously, they weren't able to spend a lot of time practicing in this setting. I know I've been watching the Burn the Stage series over on my Patreon, which I'll link up here if you want to check it out. It's been a ton of fun. So many laughs. I've been learning so much about them. And on there, they spend so much time practicing, prepping, rehearsing. But so here they're at Grand Central Station. Were they able to get in here early and practice this? Or did they just show up for this set and like maybe run it once and then and then have to perform it. If they did, that's so impressive. Not knowing the space and like, obviously they're dancing, the texture, the floor matters a lot, the way that they're singing, where they're going to be spaced out. I just think that performing in these kind of strange places, like uh, we saw another cool Tonight Show performance where they performed uh, on, on a bridge uh, in Seoul, I believe, which is just so wild to have these opportunities perform in these unique like landmarks and locations. I think it's so cool. <laughs> Okay, this is what I've been waiting for. Ah, oh, he sounds so beautiful. Wow. Wow, he sounds great. Wow. Wow. Okay. So a ton of you were saying that uh, he actually sings this super raw uh, on carpool karaoke, which I've reacted to already, but I didn't catch. So after this video, stick around to the very end. I'm going to go through and listen to him sing this again and react to my own reaction video of him singing this because I totally did, like I hadn't heard the song before. I didn't even know. So I'm going to go back. There's a lot of processing on this and it sounds like there's some backing tracks in there and his voice is layered a lot. Uh, so I can hear him singing in there, but it's not his true raw unfiltered vocal which is what I want to hear. So stick around to the end. I'm going to go back in and find this part in Carpool Karaoke. And I'm just, I know I'm going to be blown away. Nice. The choreographer for this is so massive. Oh my goodness. I love this like marching band feel with this whole song. I think it's so cool. They got like the snares and the claps going, the whole like horn section. I just think it's such a cool way to piece together a song and it comes together live so well. Wow, what a cool performance. Woo! Wow! <laughs> He's here! <laughs> Jimmy! Grand Central Terminal, Map of the Soul, 7 is out Amazing. We'll okay, right okay, back. let's go find this back on Carpool Karaoke because I'm super curious. Okay, okay, I found it. Here it is. Sick. Guys, by the way, make sure that you're subscribed down below so that you don't miss out whenever I post brand new reaction videos full of BTS just like this one. I think next I'm going to start jumping into some of their individual songs, so you don't want to miss that. Take a minute right now, make sure you're subscribed, but let's hear Jungkook sing this vocal part totally raw, unedited, unfiltered. I'm so ready. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You ready? Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh, he sings so well. He sings so. He sings amazing. Amazing. You ready for this?
What? What? Yo, he's so good. He's so good. Okay, my reaction right here is super, super downplayed. What? That was so, so good. He is getting way up there. Those are those parts that, like, are just absolutely blow me away. I know I said that he uses a lot of effects in that live performance there, and it's very filtered, but that's because they're dancing hard, they're doing their thing, and they want it to sound just like the studio version. But listen to that. He's an amazing, amazing, amazing vocalist getting up there. Great tone. He just sounds so, so good. Wow. I can't believe I missed that the first time and like realizing just how awesome that is i think knowing the song helps a lot but well judging by my reaction right here i'm still pretty blown away <laughs> anyways that has been on i hope you guys enjoyed this video a ton they just they impressed me live so so much but i don't know what do you want to see me react to next drop a comment down below i'd love to hear your thoughts and suggestions and if you did enjoy this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up it really helps out me and my channel a ton and we'll get this video seen by many many more people and uh, make sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss out whenever i post brand new bts reaction videos just like this one. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. Eight time. Thank you so, so much for watching and have a good one. Peace.